Hey, welcome to Shove It in Your Pie Hole. I'm Michael. I'm Ed. And today we're trying the Dahlia Brands Sweet Onion Petals. Now we got this from the food auction for 25 cents. And this is less than an ounce. It's 0.75. But that's kind of expected when you buy chips, right? Well, I'm just but uh, you pay 250 So we got 90% off. So we only pay 10%. So buying this in the store... Oh my goodness, makes it $3.33 an ounce, or $53.33 a pound. Ridiculous. Oh my goodness. So we obviously paid... Uh, Less than that. Yeah, $0.33 cents an ounce, or $5.33 a pound. So what do you think these are going to taste like? Onion. I think... I think they're gonna. It reminds me uh, on the packaging of the um, it's a, it's those just, handicap hot fries, cheddar fries. Yeah, whatever. it's just straight up. A, yeah, it's just straight taste of a straight up onion. Yeah, but I mean the te I mean texture when you it's gonna have, probably have the same crunch. Yeah. So the website says it's made with real Vidalia onion puree, and it also says that they are gluten free, which it says nowhere on the package with the with today. With uh, the, the craze being getting stuff from gluten free, you'd, you'd think it'd be stamped right off. On, apparently, on all the other onions got to go and do a civil rights act because apparently, not all onions are created equal. Oh, that's bad. Yeah. Um, it says Martin baked, baked onion. So they're baked, not fried. Uh, they're claiming zero trans fats, and they are actually kosher, so you can eat these. Yeah. <laughs> I know you're not familiar with this, so. Alright, let's. Ugh. Oh, God, it smells horrible. <laughs> they don't, they smell like onion, but. They smell worse than an onion, or at least an onion I can cry, not. Uh, that, uh, smells like. Oh, onion. God, it smells old. <laughs> it smells like onion and feet. That? Uh, yes, it does. B.O. in my opinion. Well, here goes nothing. Shove it in a pie hole. Tastes fine, it just smells it horrible. It tastes way better than it smells. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh god. I, I don't know why I keep smelling it. Reminds me of that uh that skit on Saturn Live with when, when Tom Hanks posted way back when uh, Mike Myers was in the cast. Mm -hmm. And they liked they liked bad stuff. So like uh he he drank some milk and it was fired, oh this is horrible, but then they like pass it around. His wife tried it, their kids tried it, and they handed it back to him. He's like, I already hit, oh, okay, and he tried it again. Oh, this is horrible. And the skit just went on and on, like, like they sat in a chair with a nail, and they all did that. And, but, yeah, I'm not going to smell it again, but they taste really good. I'll smell it again. Yeah, yeah, it just has really horrible cardboard. I'm going to save a few for my wife. If you guys, she's the cameraman, camera person, um... If you watched our last episode, we did that Creole mustard, which Aaron and I both thought was absolutely nasty. <laughs> my my younger... The chicken didn't even save it. Oh, yeah. My younger son tried it. He didn't like it. My wife tried it. She loves it. She's like, I'm going to put that one on. Now she wants a brat with with uh, sauerkraut and that, that crayon. It's like, more power to you. It's, it's nasty. It's all get out. Sorry for the comments for the last video. Yeah. Actually, I like these. I like them, but you're not going to be... If you only buy smell, don't, don't, don't smell them. They're absolutely atrocious. The, the smell is absolutely atrocious. You know, I've never... This is the first... Just because I started doing these, I've never actually did that before. Like, I get a snack or a bag of chips and open it up and smell it before I ate it. You just open it up and you just assume it's going to be good. Yeah. I'm going to start doing that just to see. Because usually when you go out to eat, you're like, ooh, something smells good, man. But, man, oh, could you imagine? Can you imagine working <laughs> at, working at the factory, making something that you that you really like, but the stench is overwhelming? I've heard that's like that for um, We live right now. We live in Battle Creek, Michigan, cereal capital of the world. There's a there's a post post factory is not that far from us. So we yeah we, we actually live on Post Avenue. The factory is like less than a few blocks away. What like four blocks that way, and then what two blocks that way? Yeah. Because there's yeah there's a uh, smell fresh fruity pebbles all day. What it starts with an L? What 
what's the name of that the next street? The Lath Lathrop. And then the next block over is uh, Cliff, and uh, Post is, is right on. At least they, I don't know what their official address is, but I know the employees, the parking lot's on Cliff. And, uh, you know, a lot of times it's good, like, you can you can step outside, oh, they're they're, they're baking waffle crisp, or, you know, or, oh, cookies. Or, my favorite, fruity or cocoa pebbles. No comment. Inside joke, don't ask. Um... But man, every once in a while they'll burn a batch, and you, it just reeks. So that's what I imagined making these, happen to put up with the. But I'm sure they they got stuff. If you can't stand the smell, like nose plugs or that cream you can put under, like. Well, you just doused yourself in body like body spray, like Axe or Old Spice. Yeah, I definitely. Have a cold on the list. If I had to take a.